Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we're going to learn how to rotate a link list. So the first thing that you need to probably understand is what is a link list. There's a link in the description to a video which will showcase how to create a link list. So once you're done with that video, you can come to this one and rewatch it. So what is the rotation of a link list? Let's say you have a link list like this, which goes from one to the value six, all one after the other. Now, if I give a command to rotate by two like this, you can see that the root changes from one to three and the other elements are just arranged in a fashion that is circular, which means that after six, we get to see one. And similarly, if you have the rotation set by five, you'll basically have the new root as one two three four and five six and the next element will be one two three four and five and that will be it so how do you achieve this so the first thing is you need to convert the link list into a circular link list which means that you need to connect six with one now once you achieve that you will basically change the root the amount of times you need to rotate the link list once you reach the root let's say the new root is three and you have a circular link list still you'll basically count the length of the circular link list corresponding to your original list and break it off just before you reach the root by that you'll basically get your arrangement which is needed so let's look at the code so if you have worked with the link list before you would know what this code is and you probably know what this code is uh, this is just a function to print the link list this is a function to add new nodes to the link list and this is basically the node which we'll be working with you can see data and next inside of it now this is the main function in the main function as you can see the first line is basically to print rotate a link list the next line basically arranges the root and the next five lines adds nodes to the link list itself now we print before rotation we print the list the entire link list as you can see and uh, then we say root equal to rotate list root 2 so we're basically calling the function rotate list we're passing in a root the root itself and we're saying that I need to skip it by two I need to rotate by two positions so let's go to this function over here we have this function called rotate list it takes parameters root and the amount of times it needs to skip let's just print uh, this is basically the formatting so what this is doing is it's saying rotate by and this is just a placeholder for the variable for the object skip so yeah length we need the length as you remember we say whatever root is pointing to let node point to the same object so the first step was to connect the ends and that's what we are doing here while node dot next is not none so while the next element is not none which means that it's not null increment the length because that's what we're doing we're counting the length node equal to node dot next which means that whatever node dot next is pointing to give that value to node which basically means move upward throughout the link list go forward go forward go forward when you get out of this loop you basically are pointing to the last element this will be the last element so you say let the last element point to the root and that's what we're doing in this function the next step is to move the root itself so for x in range of zero to skip basically a for loop going from zero to skip minus one root equal to root dot next so move 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 whatever root dot next is pointing to give that value to the roots itself so the root basically moves ahead in every in the entire link list okay when you reach wherever you are you basically say that the new root is the root itself and for the decoy again using as a decoy you basically give the root value to node now we have to break the connection because we need to form the link list again we cannot use the circular link list so for x in range of zero to length go forward 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 and you basically say that once you reach the end break the connection node.next right now is pointing to root but after you execute this line it basically points to nothing so the circular link list doesn't exist anymore and then you return the root and you get it over here so that's what you do and then you just print list root again so that's the function uh, that's what it does it's pretty simple connect the ends move the root itself and break the end connection and that's it for this guys thanks for watching and uh, subscribe like and do whatever later guys